have two tunnels underneath us. The Clem 7, north and south bounds. The architect actually came up with this idea to go for a die grid type system to make the whole building lighter. This is a lightweight structure, believe it or not, um, even though we have these massive columns. We talk about complexities, so obviously the tunnel is one component. Uh, the other thing, we uh, cantilever over a heritage building. That in its own is a little bit complex. To add to that, that cantilever deflects. Out on the uh, periphery out here, um, it's set to drop by about 65 mil. Uh, we've got four columns, uh, stability core, that goes all the way to the top. The die grid on the periphery ties back in through uh, primary beams, but also temporary bracing. And then we've got floor, floor steel on that. The, the floors themselves in the typical floors are uh, 130 mil thick and uh, it's on bond deck. So there's very minimal form work, which is different. Haven't experienced that before. We do have a, obviously we've got the core over here. That's really the only form work activity that we've got. It's all steel. If you're just building a normal structure, it's very easy to put form work up and you, you might have 20 or 30 form workers forming a deck. Here, you've got, well, they're permanent members. I've played in high rise apartments. Uh, I've played in office buildings, played in uh, research facilities. This is very different. This one is, yeah, on the top of the list for complexity.